All right, so today's lesson is all about uh, understanding linear relations. Okay, so first of all, what is a linear relation? Well, it's actually kind of straightforward because if you look at the word, if you look at the word linear, you can see something in there. You can see the word line. All right, so linear relations are relations that when you graph them, you're gonna see a straight line, all right? So that's what a linear relation is. It's something that you're gonna have a straight line on a graph. All right, so let's look at an example of a linear relation. So it says a horse is able to run at a maximum speed of 15 meters for every second. Okay, so 15 meters per second, that means 15 meters per one second. So in one second, it can travel 15 meters. And so what we wanna do is we wanna show this relation in a table of values and in a graph. Okay, so any relation can be shown a number of ways. And in particular, two of those ways are gonna be shown here today. And so that's gonna be a table of values and basically on a graph. Okay, so the first one we'll do is table of values. Okay, so <clears throat> if we do our table of values here, we're gonna end up drawing something like this. Okay, so X and Y. So this is an example of a table of values. Now we're not actually gonna use X and Y here because this is a word problem. We're gonna actually use variables that are gonna make sense to this word problem. Okay, and the variables that are gonna make sense are gonna be, well, this one is a measurement of distance. So 15 meters is the measurement of distance. And the one second is a measurement of time. Okay, and so when you're trying to figure out which one goes here and which one goes here, you have to figure out which one is the independent variable or the manipulated variable. Okay, and that one's always gonna go here. So this one here is the independent variable or the manipulated variable. Okay, and in this case, the manipulated variable or the independent variable is going to be the time, all right? And so that's because time doesn't really depend on anything, it's independent of things. It just changes by one increment at a time. One second, two second, three second, four second. So we're gonna put time here. So we'll put a T and then we'll put a little lowercase bracket to indicate the unit is seconds. And then obviously the other one has gotta be the dependent variable or the responding variable, sometimes you might hear it like that. So the responding variable or the dependent variable is gonna go here. So we have D, which is in meters, okay, so distance. So if we were to, gonna create a table of values, we're gonna pick a bunch of different points and we're gonna try to fill out what we think this table of values will look like. Well, we're gonna start at time is equal to zero. We're not gonna start at negative because that wouldn't really make sense for this question, it's time. So you can't have negative time. So time equals zero. So we got zero seconds, and at zero seconds, this horse has gone, well, zero meters. But after one second, the horse will have gone a total of 15 meters because it's going at 15 meters for every second. Then we're gonna have, after two seconds, it's gonna have gone 30 meters. After three seconds, it's gonna have gone 45 meters. And after four seconds, it will have gone 60 meters. Okay, so this is an example of a table of values for this word problem representing a linear relation. And a table of values is just one of the ways to express a relationship within two variables. So here we have a relationship between time and distance for a horse, and we're expressing that relationship as a table of values. And another way to express that table of values, like in this question, is asking you to show it in a graph, okay? So let's draw out a graph here, so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. So if we were to draw out a graph, what would that graph look like? Well, let's see. So normally when we draw these graphs, you have the x-axis here and the y-axis here. And now again, in this particular word problem, we're gonna actually pick the variables that are gonna go on that axis. And so we know that always the x-axis the one that's horizontal here, will always be the independent variable again. 
and the one that's on the y-axis will be the dependent variable. All right, so the independent variable is time, so we put time here. Make sure you include all your units, so time in seconds. The dependent variable will be the distance. And this is gonna be in meters. Okay, and then we could title our graph and say distance versus time graph. Okay, so what happens here? Well, we plot our points. So this is when time equals zero, distance also equals zero. So let's, uh, let's pick that here. So zero and zero is right there. So that's our first point. The next point corresponds to when time equals one and distance equals 15. So let's say when time equals one, distance is 15. So I'm just gonna put units here arbitrarily on there, or sorry, yeah, I'm gonna pick different increments here. So I'm just gonna say that's 15. Now, if you had graph paper, you would actually put it on the graph paper to, to match up with the ticks on the graph. But anyway, so that's 15 here. So we're gonna put a dot there because that's corresponding to when time equals one, distance equals 15. When time equals two, distance equals 30. So we match that up there. When time equals three, go up here and distance is equal to 45. And when time equals four seconds, the distance is gonna be 60. So we put that up here. And so here's our four points. And those points can be joined with something called a line of best fit. So if you want, you can join those points with a line of best fit. So I'm gonna do my line of best fit in uh, blue here, and we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna draw, a, draw a line of best fit on this. And so what we do is you basically just draw a line of best fit. So then we draw the line right through the data points here. Okay, and the line's gonna look like that. And we know that it goes on forever there, so I'm just gonna put a little arrow on the end. Now the line technically should be a little bit straight, but I don't have a straight line option on this uh, program here. So um, I'm just gonna draw a straight line there. And look at that, look at that. The line, it's a straight line. So that's why, that's what makes it a linear relationship, all right, is because it's a straight line in the data, all right? And so that's what, that's an example of a linear relation, okay? And these are two ways to express a linear relation, as a table of values and as a graph, all right? Or sometimes this graph is also called a Cartesian plane. All right, so it's a Cartesian plane or a graph and so those are the two ways to express any relationship. Now there's more than two ways, but uh, later videos I'll discuss those two other ways.